Hi, these are the top upcoming games I can't play because I am broke. Let's start. Number 1. Forspoken. This is an action RPG game which is made by Square Enix. It comes at a whooping price of 4799 rupees. With that amount I can eat a good lunch for a whole fucking month. Not gonna lie, the game does look good from the outside. And Square Enix is famous for making many popular games like Final Fantasy and Tomb Raider. But it could be a really shitty game when it releases. It really doesn't matter because I can't really play it. Number 2. Dead Space Reap. Make. I was waiting for this over a fucking decade for the revival of Dead Space, one of my favorite series. The original game was fantastic and if they do it right this might be a really great game of the year but now that the game uses de nouveau and has a price tag of 2 triple nine rupees I have lost hope to play it when it releases. Even though I can't play it thanks for making the remake. Number 3 Dead Island 2 or we can call it the game that was dead for a decade. After changing studios many times and finally finding a daddy, it is coming on April 28th with a price tag of 3299 rupees. I have played the first game and I did enjoy it. The gameplay trailer looked really nice, I can't really play it but I wanted to add it to the list anyways. Number 4 Hogwarts Legacy made by the famous Avalanche Studios. Many Harry Potter fans have mixed opinions as the game happens hundreds of years before Harry Potter. In the game you enroll in the magical school of Hogwarts and roleplay as one of the students. The game looks really good but I don't think my broadcast can get an admission there. Thank you so much. Number 5 Atomic My Heart A very exotic looking Bioshock Infinity. This FPS is developed by Munfish which I have never heard about before. The gameplay looks very very fast paced and this scary and I love scary and it scared my wallet with a price tag of 2699 rupees. I think the game will be really fun. You should give it a try. Number 6 The Last of Us Part 1 Remake Now this game looks really nice and, and this I must admit this is one of my favorite single player story games I have played till yet. I really want to play it and I think I can so I don't think I have to add it in the list. Thank you so much. Number 7 Skull and Bones developed by Ubisoft for the 7 past years. That's why it's on number 7. This pirate ship simulator is a multiplayer online game based on the best Assassin's Creed game till yet known as Black Flag. I like being a pirate as I like One Piece. Monkey D. Luffy is a goat. I am not a pirate in real life so I cannot afford it but the ones who can, good luck being a pirate and finding One Piece. Thank you so much. Number 8 Different Evil 4 Remake. This is probably the most anticipated remake of the year. I love Resident Evil and with the power of re Capcom has been developing very dope remake for the past years but this is a horror game and it also scared my wallet so I have to let this one go as well. Number 9 Star Wars Jedi Survivor made by Respawn Entertainment. The first game was a great success and now I think this will be a success as well but success or no my ass won't be able to play it and it just broke down after seeing the stream pre-purchase price. Stack. Number 10 and the last game on the list is Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League. After killing Batman in Gotham Knights which ruined the whole Arkham universe people are scared. But the Rocksteady Studios which made the Batman Arkham Knight the best Batman game till yet I'm quite sure they will do a good job on this one as well. But as always my ass is broken. Thank you so much for watching the video well this is the best game I probably won't be able to play when they releases anyway thanks for watching please subscribe